Okay, so I bought some VTIQ stock. And no, I did not buy it on Robinhood. I bought all of it on Webull because I had a Facebook call. I did make some money off of it. Got like 40% gain. I sold it, deposited some money, saved up some cash, and I increased my position on VTIQ. I'm up like over 7%. I'm up 31 bucks. It's pretty sweet. Got a total of $450 in VTIQ. And I'm definitely gonna be buying more of this company. And there's a few reasons why. So simply looking at the chart alone, you can clearly see there was a huge initial hype phase from $14 all the way up to to $33.95. Now, this is like the time when most people start dumping their shares because obviously this is way too high. It started going down to $20. And this is kind of like the area around 20 to 24 where I did buy some shares on Webull. And then I didn't really pay much attention to it. And then eventually I started really paying attention to the overall company, their leadership, especially how they have a ex-vice chairman of GM leading it. And as long as you have some really big car knowledge and car leadership from beforehand i really think that vtiq or nikola motors is definitely going to the moon so i bought in and today it did really well i did buy in somewhat in the high point i bought in around like five percent six percent it was pretty high but hey it went up even higher so i'm super pleased about my purchase today and the whole reason why i like vtiq so much is because it's like the next tesla it's like tesla 2.0 and there's so much initial hype about it because tesla is the second biggest car manufacturer not because they sell a lot of cars but because of their technology it's second largest car company in the world 30 billion bucks behind Toyota. If you look at Nikola Corporation or Motors, however you want to call it, you can clearly see they're making some pretty insane cars like this beautiful electric vehicle truck for the average consumer. If you think like the Cybertruck is way too crazy for you, the Nikola Motors could be your next bet. And they're also doing hydrogen energy. They're wanting to go into the trucking industry. And they're also making some sort of military vehicles for the military and also for civilian purposes, which are kind of like the off-road type of vehicles. It's pretty cool. They're even making these like you know, jet skis, whatever it is, but they're really going heavy into the trucking industry. But can you imagine they dominated the trucking industry and also making sedans, SUVs, crossovers, all electric? And people would definitely buy it because overall, a lot of people have been asking about the Nikola Motors and would they buy the cars. They said yes. Like this is a, honestly a pretty cool looking brand. It has a more industrial feel to it rather than Tesla super luxury feel. I kind of like the Nikola Tesla when you think about Nikola Motors. You think about like this company that makes trucks, it's like really hard, it's big, it's like industrial type of feeling. It's kind of like that sort of brand. I'm not sure if you like it, but I really do feel like if Nikola Motors actually manages to do a really good job, pump out a bunch of cars and starts deliveries as soon as possible after the June merge, then this stock is going to be worth way more than $836 million. It's going to be at least worth a few billion dollars. I'm guessing $50 billion for this company isn't even too bad of a price if they start manufacturing cars and also giving out cars to civilians like SUVs and sedans. This is kind of like Tesla. And keep in mind that Tesla 10 years ago exactly, the pricing for per share was at 10, 20, 30, 40, $50 around that range. So this is what Nikola Motors currently is. It's like a company that's worth like $20, $30. But I really do feel like if they do a fantastic job and they don't screw up and if the leadership is good, then this stock could be worth $200, $300 easy in a matter of just a couple years. So yeah, I'm holding on these shares long term because who knows, maybe one day they'll be the next Tesla. And there's a lot of things unknown about the stock and this is why it's not gonna be growing super fast all the way up like Tesla. There's a lot of mysteries and you are taking a pretty big gamble when you invest in Nikola Motors because it's a really new car company and it's a car company. And there's a lot of car startups that have failed, but hopefully this one doesn't. Thanks for watching.